Hey everyone! Each week I close my video by saying, keep your eyes on the horizon. I started saying that every week during the pandemic because many of the investors I was talking to were getting too focused on short-term headwinds to the point that they were losing sight of the fact that commercial real estate is a long-term investment. But a couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to participate in an interview that pushed me to think even further ahead. The question was, what will commercial real estate investing look like over a 20-year horizon? As I did the research and thought through the dynamics of the 20-year horizon, I uncovered a couple of things that I'll share today. First, when you consider investing over 20 years, you can look past a lot of the noise that gets in the way of decision making. You can focus beyond the bounciness of the next jobs number and focus on long-term trends like demographics and macro behavior patterns. Think back just 15 years ago to investors who aggressively bid up apartment properties in 2006 and 2007, just before the Great Recession. Many investors arguably overpaid for the assets, but consider that average apartment rents have increased by about 75% from the pre-Great Recession peak, and prices are now 135% higher than they were back then. Another benchmark, going back about 20 years from 2021 to 2000, the total return from the S&P was 416%. Apartments outpaced that performance, delivering a 458% return. Retail, yes retail, delivered a 461% return. And industrial more than doubled the S&P with a total return of 848%. Office real estate was ahead of the S&P until the last 18 months or so when the pandemic took a toll. Office properties delivered a total return of 341%. So as you look forward, what should investors consider? Demographics. Millennials are in their household forming years, much as baby boomers were in 1983. That makes 1983 to 2003 a great housing market correlation for today. From 1983 to 2003, home prices rose by 53% on an inflation adjusted basis. The median price of a home today is about $372,000. And if appreciation matches the surge driven by the baby boom generation, the median home price in 2042 will be $570,000 in today's dollars. That's inflation adjusted. Also consider that in 2042, the average age of baby boomers will be 87 years old which will drive seniors' housing and medical office demand. In addition, boomers will be in the process of transferring an estimated $84 trillion of wealth to the next generation, their 50-something-year-old millennial children. That holds big implications for commercial real estate. But it won't happen all at once. It will happen slowly over time. And as it does, the economy and politics will go through cycles. That's why investors need to be prepared to adapt. They can't be passive. There will be tactical opportunities to capitalize on interest rate cycles, opportunities to optimize leverage and maximize return on equity. Technology, tax laws, and policy changes can dramatically affect the real estate playing field. Think forward 20 years and consider whether people will work in the office whether they'll shop in stores, whether they'll live in apartments, and so on. Of course, there's no way to know exactly what the future holds, but there are some signs out there. Also consider where people will live and work. Just to toss it out there, the top three population growth markets over the next 20 years, according to Moody's Analytics, are Austin, Orlando, and Phoenix. So in wrap up, here's my main points. Number one, real estate has done really well over the long term. Number two, investors need to adapt strategies to maximize their results. They can't be completely passive. Investors need to trade assets periodically. Number three, demographics offer a great clue 
when looking to the future, but also consider changing behavior. The influence of technology and the effects of public policy are key. Finally, when you think long-term, shut out the day-to-day -day noise and consider the big picture. There will be tremendous opportunities for investors who keep their eyes on the horizon.